Hey guys, I did do a check-in at the end of week two, but I thought I should do a second check-in as the beginning of week three because I did bleach my face yesterday. And if you guys don't know what that means, I have a video about it. I'll link it somewhere here, I think. And also in the description box below. But basically what it does, it just bleaches hair, which usually, you know, nowadays people shave. I have been doing this facial bleach for years and my experience is that it just removes like the very topmost layer of the skin if it has any effect on the skin other than that it doesn't really lighten your skin as you can see i still have the scars from the pimples and everything so it doesn't affect that really it just affects the hair that's why i decided to do it even though i was doing this trial day 15 I just brushed my teeth when I looked in the mirror I feel like the lines on my forehead the horizontal ones and my smile lines are pretty diminished and my skin since yesterday okay has been feeling very smooth when I kind of smooth as in like there are no bumps underneath when I run my hands over my skin I feel some of the bumps here that's where I usually do get some whiteheads are still there and then there's like one bump right here besides those i feel like my skin is feeling really even like even surfaced what else happened oh yeah so it's just like rubbing on my upper lip i had like a major massive kind of thick layer of skin on the very top that just peeled off it could just be the matter of time that it was about to fall off but um <clears throat> it fell off just now like when i was just rubbing and it wasn't going earlier. I had even used a lip scrub, one of my favorite elf lip scrubs, and it was still there. Hey guys, before I go to bed, I wanted to show you guys this. I have developed a little pimple here. That's definitely a pimple. Uh, if you have things like this, like can you see it here? That's like just like under the topmost layer of the skin. Those are usually just like your skin getting rid of like stuff and you need not worry about them but this is a little bit concerning however you know I'm getting close to my period so it could be just that. I never took my supplement in the morning. I pretty much just got up you know finished cooking for my kids and then uh, I went on to edit the video that should have been done yesterday but it wasn't so i forgot completely to take my supplement and now it's 2 p.m this has to be the latest i have taken <laughs> supplement during this trial and i also need to actually reorder the next batch and uh i think to get free shipping you need to order three so yeah this is going to be probably a four month trial All right, so today is end of week three and I feel like my skin is feeling a lot better. It is definitely feeling a lot smoother. A lot of the um, skin flaking or dry skin flakes like on the topmost surface that I noticed last week are almost gone. Actually, I haven't noticed any. Uh, and in the middle of the week, actually the dryness that was on my lip just kind of rubbed off. Usually it rubs off in normal circumstances, but it wasn't this time and I had had that for I would say almost a month so much so that I went and saw a doctor um, Before I started the supplement thinking that there was a mass it had gotten like really Tough and now it all seems to be gone this week I have been a little bit better with my water intake, but only a little bit better <laughs> So that might be why uh, the dryness has kind of gone down. However, overall, I think I, feel, I have felt the most thirsty while on the supplement. I do live in the desert area, the Bay Area. Um, so it is drier in general. But I feel like ever since I have started the supplement, I have uh, more of a feeling of dryness in the palm of my hands and even in my mouth. 
uh, you know, just like feeling parched. Even when I drink a lot of water, that feeling kind of persists. So I don't know what's going on with that, but my skin is definitely feeling better. As I told you guys in my skincare video, like the skincare that I'm doing with the supplement trial, the night I applied azelaic acid, I felt amazing. And um, actually my forehead lines, I felt like they had almost like gone down to a half. I even feel like my smile lines have gotten better. And in general, I do feel that my under eye area looks a little bit lighter, like more closer to my cheek skin color. And the very, like the inner corners of my eyes, which are usually very kind of itchy and they almost feel like tissue paper, like the skin there is very, very light, like a tissue paper. And, you know, I get these like bouts of like wanting to rub my eyes really, really hard. And I do do that. And I did that lesser number of times this week and much lesser during this trial than I have done before overall. But even when I did do the rubbing, I felt like the skin in overall just around like these regions feels stronger. Like it is a, it is more of a... Uh, printing paper thickness versus the tissue paper um, in terms of pimples uh, this is going down and I think that is at a normal rate for me it's nothing new besides that I have noticed some really minute like just under the top most layer of skin kind of like those bumps which just like you can if you scratch it they just go away but can leave slight tiny wound and then it heals on its own but I have noticed those and I believe those are usually a sign of your skin kind of clearing up. It's getting rid of toxins and things. Um, the bump that I had under my eye, I did a horrible thing this week. I took this tool that's, you know, used for like removing whiteheads and stuff. I recently acquired it and I felt like this little thing was pushed out. That's what I was feeling. And I have seen in general recently that my whiteheads are just kind of coming out on their own and I decided to use this tool on it. And that was a horrible idea because I think I kind of broke a couple of little veins in there and uh, that area was, a, was slightly more red. Or like I could actually see the veins so I was worried but just now looking in the mirror it seems like that has healed and the bump feels slightly more flatter as if I was able to get some of the whatever is underneath out the white head out side by side comparison time chin Yep, that's where I'm at. I hope you guys liked this review. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I have ordered one more bottle, so I will be continuing the trial for at least another month. So yeah, stay tuned to find out how that goes. Okay, thank you again for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!